Aaron, this was only Clark's 13th major league game, but seemed like he had a really good fastball slider combination. What did you see your hitters trying to do against him? Yeah, it looked like the slider, which he's flashed in his starts, um, was a lot more sharp. Um, you know, in some of the starts where he's gotten hurt, it, it kind of flattens out and straightens out. And I thought for the most part, just from the side and everything, it looked like it was it was pretty sharp to go with the fastball combo. With your offense on many nights, you'd be sitting here talking about Jay Happ, quality start, he got a win. How would you evaluate what Happ gave you? Yeah, it was good. I thought his fastball was really good. Um, you know, I was having a little hard time putting away hitters. Um, but I thought I thought the fastball was really crisp. I thought he got it to some lanes. Um, the secondary pitches, w you know, just okay. To, couldn't f quite finish some guys. So they, I felt like they were kind of selling out and cheating a little bit to his fastball. But I think that speaks to how it was playing tonight. I thought it was coming out really well. And, you know, for him to go out and give us six innings, like you said, um, and hold them down enough, we just couldn't mount enough. So it was good to see Jay get, get deeper into the game. We were given the news on Void core muscle injury MRI to come. Is there any further update on his situation? Yeah, no, he's still he's still there, so we don't have a result of that. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. Based on the fact that this is a recurring injury now, it happened to him before the All-Star break as well. Do, do you have a gut feeling whether this could be an injury list uh, situation? I, I don't because you know even even in talking to Luke um during the game when he was coming out you know he was having a hard time putting his finger on it he just said I was having a hard time getting loose kind of before the game and and all game like he didn't feel like he did anything to it he just kind of felt you know the whole core area just uh you know his his explanation was just kind of he, he couldn't put his finger on it you know so we'll just wait and see what the result says and and uh and then try and better get our arms around it Dan. so he came to you after the the fourth inning is that when well, he, well we saw him in that at bat with where, the strikeout yeah we we just noticed he was it, it just looked a little different and we were watching him walk down to first and uh and then we just checked on when he came in and he was you know he's just kind of a little puzzled like I, like I just can't get loose you know so we'll we'll try and see if if uh if it shows something and see how he's doing tonight and tomorrow and you just really wanted to get LeMahieu that extra day that's yeah why you went to Wade yeah Larry I would imagine that being able to use only two pitchers tonight was was a pretty satisfying result even even though you obviously didn't win the game well, I, I mean, it's certainly nice that, you know, we were able to get through with two pitchers, um, it, you know, on a nice night with, that we lost a game, which, you know, is never fun. Um, so, yeah, you know, just as much as obviously they've been used and taxed and having an off day yesterday and an off day coming up for, for some of those guys to get down, um, that part of it's not the worst thing. Christy in the back in the middle. I, I know you don't have the results, but are you comfortable enough with where LeMahieu is uh, to be covered for tomorrow, that he'll uh, play tomorrow? Uh, that, say that again. That I, I know you don't have the results with Voight, right. but are you comfortable enough with where LeMahieu is that he could play tomorrow and you'd be covered? Y yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I'm going to get with DJ and, and training staff and, you know, make a determination on that for tomorrow and see, you know, just see which way we want to go with it. But DJ's doing well. I think, it, you know, just trying to be wise here as we avoid this IL thing, uh, especially with an off day coming. Randy. Bauer was traded to the Reds tonight. Stroman went to the Mets the other day. Uh, normally you don't see non-contending teams uh, getting big pitchers at the deadline. Is, is that a little bit surprising to you? I don't know. I mean, you know, we, we saw what Cincinnati did over the winter and trying to kind of start to move towards out of their rebuild a little bit. Um, you know, Bauer's got another year of control. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not in the business now of 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 uh, evaluating other teams' moves. So I, I guess I just did a little bit, but I'll kind of leave it at that. <laughs> Brian, to the right. Aaron, just to clarify on Voight, did you have any idea he was experiencing tightness before the game? Did no. you express that to anybody? No. 
And and I don't know if he was so much tight as just one of those. Again, it was just like I just feel like I haven't been able to get loose all all game, you know. So um, it wasn't the normal, you know, when a guy does something in the course of a game that injures something. It, was, it didn't seem to be anything like that. Dan, just based on on Boyd, is is Bird doing anything? No, Any? no, no, he's not an option right now. Is that still the plantar fasciitis? Yep. 